I'm happy, I'm excited to end one year and start another year by doing my very first collaboration um, with an extremely talented writer and arranger, Justin Wilson. Now, full disclosure, he is family, okay? But that's that's one of the reasons why, um, because I can tell you from personal experience, he has a talent for music that's been evident since he's been in diapers, folks. And Justin's son, LJ, is the same. So um, Justin is now doing a full series of videos um, where he's explaining the thought process behind his um, his album. So I, I really encourage you to check that out. They're very informative. I'm just doing his um, one song today. And if you want to check out more, check the link in the description area. And without wasting any more time, I'm going to let you see his genius for yourself. All right, here we go. Hey, what up you guys? This is uh, Justin again. Uh, the song I'm doing today is No Room. And um, this is by far the, the song that most people like the most um, on the album. And um, as always, it's great you know, to hear people say how much they love the song. Um, and I wanna just go through um, the, the three sections of the song um, and just kinda, you know, when I was thinking about it, it, I just I started reminiscing on when the when I arranged it, and um, I'm sure many of you guys know that that moment when you know just everything is working and and the inspiration is just hitting you, and you just it's it's for me I have to either be recording while I'm arranging or just uh, just having really having to write it down immediately because my brain is just. It's just giving me the next part, the next part, and, and, I, and I'm trying to keep up myself with uh, what I'm coming up with. So 
And that's kind of how it was with this song. I arranged it uh, one Friday night, a few hours, um, and it just, it just, it just came. Uh, the the initial kind of um, theme of the the chord progressions. I think I was just driving along, listening to Pandora, and this this song was on, and it was just the first three chords of the song. And I don't know, it just no room just instantly popped in my head. Um, and then after I got past the first two sections where the where, which the lyrics are already were already written, you know, I just started thinking like that is such a, a, a good um, application for when God comes back and and you know they said there was no room for him when he came and uh, it would really suck if when God came back he was like there's no room. Um, uh, so um, I wrote that last section um, with you know the lyrics and everything um, just because just because uh, I thought it really fit the title no room as well uh, the the switch from from what we told God to what God may tell us so um, let me just go through these first sections and 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 try to um, just explain a little bit of what I think is um, um, kind of go-to moves to to have a really cohesive uh, arrangement, uh, especially vocally. So in this first section, um, I kind of just use the moves that I think um, really work well. Uh, Kurt Franklin is like a master at it, Israel, and that's just um, having some a lot of good unison parts um, and making making the the vocal arranging really simple um, and easy to sing along to. So I start in unison and then I break out some harmony and go back unison. Um, and, and that really is good for people listening to sing along right from the jump. And, it, and it, 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 from the jump, it's not so complicated that they're like, oh man, I can't sing that, you know. So um, let me just play this first part. No room, only a manger of hay, no room. He is a stranger today. No room here in this world away. No room, no room, no room here in the hearts of mankind. No room, no cheery welcome could find. No room, surely the world is blind. No room, no room. So looking at the vocal score, um, it's just this real small nugget of, of harmony there. So let me play it. And that's it. Just that small little nugget um, and then back into unison. Let me play the second one. Um, since I'm coming out of it, you know, I leave the harmony in there and do a little build, taking the vocals up uh, to come out to the second section. So in the second part, um, I pretty much keep the same theme going where I, I start in unison. Um, I establish, you know, um, a good kind of thing to sing to. Um, and then I break out into some harmony uh, after I establish the... the um, some nice unison parts. Um, so, um, and I did get a little more jazzy in this second section. Um, so uh, I'm gonna play it uh, a little slower than the record so you can kind of hear um, the, the jazz chords I have uh, in the vocal arranging. So this last part of the second section um, has has some jazzier chords here as well, and um, <clears throat> what I what I often like to do, and I did, which is what I did here, is I like shifting chords down um, to kind of symbolize the ending of a a section, you know, ending of a phrase. So here the vocals are going. And so if I play the chords with the bass notes, um, 
It sounds like this. And so it has that kind of falling motion um, uh, where the chords are just kind of shifting down um, and it lets you know that the, the section is kind of ending. And it's also a good way to get back to the, the, back to the original key, um, which is back to B. So this last section, uh, I knew I wanted to move. Um, I knew I wanted a, a gospel kind of feel to it, especially with the message that I was trying to get across. Um, so vocally, um, you know, I always found the tried and true is 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 three part three part harmony. Uh, to me, gives the the best punch um, where you can still be creative, um, but it's not just so thick where um, it's hard to get a, a, a some the quick movements in there, um, and it, it just feels more kind of organic as three parts. Um, so. Um, the main part, the main part where they're saying most of the lyrics uh, is three parts, and then the change keys. I do have a a, a solid four parts on the change keys. Um, but what I wanted to play is the 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 uh, instrumental or the accompaniment um, during the change keys because um, because I just love to be different. Um, I did change the pattern of how I went up on to, on changing keys, even though the vocal arranging uh, stayed pretty much the same. So going from B to C, I have. And then going from C to C sharp. You can see that um, I did different bass notes on those two change keys, even though the vocally it's the same. And that's just to be different. Okay, so let's uh, let's go through the whole song. Uh, I'm gonna give you guys a little acoustic version, uh, just vocal and piano. Uh, I don't know if you can see my cheat sheet over here, but um, I can't remember all the chords. So I got my cheat sheet. Um, and so, uh, yeah, let's do it. Ooh. 
so that's it. Uh, thank you guys for watching this video. Um, this video is going to be a collaboration with my brother, my big brother, Sean. So I'm really excited about that. Um, Sean taught me almost everything I know. So um, hopefully uh, he approves. <laughs> All right, you guys have a good uh, new year.